Hey, this is SGM4306 here. I just wanted to show you guys an update for a project that I started maybe two years ago that I've recently just started pushing really hard to get finished. And I basically got a camcorder a few years ago, one of the old, really large, um, they took full-size VHS tapes with an, it was new at the time, it came out in 98, uh, one of those little viewfinders, but it used uh, LCDs rather than the normal smaller CRT ones, which is perfect for hacking. Once I got composite video running through it, I thought, well, I don't really need any. I could make I could make like night vision goggles out of it, but I mean, everyone does that. Now I thought, well, what what could I do with an LCD that's like only half an inch big? And I thought, perfect, I could make a projector. How many people do you see make portable projectors themselves? You know. So I started working on it, and I just want to show you guys what I got with a little sample video here. I got audio working alongside the video, and once this guy pops up right here. Sorry for the low lighting conditions. It's really, really hard to uh, film. My camera isn't very good for uh, low light filming. But I can assure you that in real life, this is definitely watchable. And as you can see, it works. I mean, I'm only projecting like a five, uh, maybe six or seven inch image right here. But that's because it's daylight and the room I'm in isn't as dark as it appears. But once you're in complete darkness, you can watch a movie up to, you know, I, I've, I've blown this up to about 30 inches. I mean, the thorough distance isn't that great, but up to 30 inches is definitely watchable and it's bright enough in pitch darkness. And so, as you can see, everything basically works. I mean, the resolution isn't great, but then again, it's really hard to capture on, on this film. I can assure you, I'll post some still pics with a better camera that I have. But unfortunately, that camera can't take video. But um, you can basically see if you can see. Let me see if, uh, if I can find a lighter picture. Just some Wallace and Gromit I got on my iPod. <laughs> but um, everything works, and I'm kind of surprised that it came out so well. I could always throw in a brighter LED, which I'm planning on doing. Um, but, yeah, everything works pretty well. So let me just turn this guy off. I um, Let's see if I can get more light. Basically, I've wired up an audio amplifier. It's just a mono using an LM386 and just a little speaker. I drilled some holes in the top right there. And it's just, essentially, I took the, the optical pieces as well from the camcorder and wired to a standard lithium-ion battery I pulled from a laptop. Um, everything, it has internal... Um, step-up converters for driving the 12-volt panel voltage as well as a um, another converter for 5 volts for the logic supply as well as I had to program a microcontroller in order to initialize the LCD panel so that it was viewable otherwise you would just get a blank screen. Uh, sorry for the lighting it's kind of really hard to film stuff in the dark and also have it light at the same time but um, as you can see it's not all that large. I actually used, from that same camcorder, I used the uh, power adapter brick, which is not large, not that small, and basically just cut a hole for the um, eyepiece. I used the original optics for the eyepiece. It just so happens that the focal length is in focus for video, so I'll see if I can get some more pictures up that, you know, can better uh, better show you what it looks like in real life, because that small test I did, in real life that was perfectly viewable. I could sit there and watch the entire, you know, uh, clip. But on the camera it wasn't, you know, it doesn't catch low lighting conditions very well. So if you have any questions, you know, just uh, go on to DIYtronics.blogspot.com. Uh, go under the... A portable video projector page and you can post any questions that you want if you want to know how to hack a similar uh, there it's Sony branded the uh, 0.5 inch LCD module I'll be happy to help I um, 
I actually had to reverse engineer some of the circuit board anyway for pinouts. Uh, every circuit board's different. That's the problem with these things. There's no standardization. It was a JVC camcorder, by the way, if you're interested. But um, if you need any help or anything like that or have any ideas, uh, feel free to share them. I'll see you guys later.